that's how I know they're the dongos because these one do like to see him smoke, so I don't think they are the dongos. Because they shoot fireballs at you. Yeah, I once saw uh, uh, on a forum somewhere someone had a GIF animation in their signature where it uh, showed smoke from Mortal Kombat, and then the dongo walked in and said, "Bitch," <laughs> and then it showed the dongo dislikes smoke. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> In my opinion, some of the Mortal Kombat uh, characters were very uninspired, like Smoke and Luke Cyborg. But well, yeah, there were. Uh, Recalls back in the day. Yeah. And then you got the female ninjas. You got Katana, uh, Melina, Jade, Chameleon. Uh, well, there were two chameleons. There was male and female chameleon. I only played as Sub Zero. So. I no, I pretty much played as all of them. Well. My favorite character was always Baraka. Nah, he really hated that guy. <laughs> yeah. And in case you want to know... I like swords. In case you want to know, no, that's not a no break of war. It just looks at me. Uh, oh. Didn't even notice until you mentioned it. I was paying more attention to those round things and the spinning fireballs. Okay, um, to get the moon pearl, you can easily miss it. You need to have this hole here. If it's not there, you're not gonna get it. And you need to fall in from this side. If you fall from the other side, you'll fall into another hole. I see. And then you can get the move Goody. And it protects you from changing into a bunny rabbit. Golden power energy drink turns you into a rabbit? Probably. At least I think that stuff is called golden power that they have in uh, supermarkets. Ah, I want those hearts. Uh, yeah, every bot has a heart, so... Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, uh, never mind, I'm going for the boss battle right now. Which doesn't even need the big key in this level. Oh. Just go up and... Gee, this uh, should look familiar to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. And let me tell you, it's annoying. Well, you can't just uh, shoot arrows at them from the side? Uh, well, you probably could, but his pattern is really... Yeah. Random and eradicate, so... Yeah, he's probably, so eradic. he's probably too fast. Yeah. And once you give him a couple of hits, he'll move faster. Obviously. As like any good boss should. God. Whatever you do, don't get too close to the edges. He will push you off and you have to start the battle again. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how it was in Link's Awakening as well, if I remember right. Yeah. No! Ooh, that was a close one. This Careful! Run this away! Is, this is probably one of the most annoying bosses in the games. No, no, sure. no, no! Ooh, sure looks that way. Run, run, run! Ah! God, help me. Run, coward! Please, three goddesses, help me! <laughs> I don't think they can hear you. I know that video game goddesses, so... This is getting on my nerves already. That doesn't work either. God, sick queen. You've got him! Alright. Uh, at least I've got him. <laughs> oh yeah, this would be hilarious. You get the heart and then fall down. So you miss the pen and have to do the battle again. Oh. And that would be annoying. But, good work. All three pendants. Yes, now we can get the master sword. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. Well then, let's follow that advice. Hmm. And as I was saying, this over here is Spectacle Rock. Ah, I see. And in the Shadow World it's... Oh! Spectacle Rock because it's shaped like a pair of glasses. Yeah. It's been around in Zelagin since the very first. Oh. The very first also had Spectacle Rock, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it? No, I think it was the second game, Link's Adventure. Could be, I don't know. Uh, Adventure of Link. So. Uh, the, the Lost Woods, that's where all the Zoras are, right? Uh, no. The Zoras are in Zora's Domain. Oh, damn. Oh. Because I remember uh, I did get into this area where all the Zoras were. That's the... well, that's Zora's Domain. Let's see. All the, the, the fish guys. These are the Lost Woods, and Zora's Domain is there. Uh, it's not yeah. on the map. It's not on the map, yeah, it's yeah. a blue spot there in the middle. Yeah. 
figures there would be a whole lot of water in the woods. <laughs> However, you need to get into Zora's domain, at least that's what I call it, to obtain the flippers, as you will need them for a specific dungeon in the Dark World. I see. But I'll just let the camp continue. Not sure if I actually obtain the Master Sword at all then. Well, here it is. This is it, the Master Sword. <laughs> <laughs> no way, this can't be it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a little too easy. <laughs> I was like, huh? What? You found it already? Uh, it's nice to play this game with somebody who hasn't played it yet. At least not this far. Mushroom, mushroom. Yes, the snakes are mushroom. mushrooms. No think... badgers. Nope, it doesn't have any badgers. Oh well. Well, the Master Sword is actually in here, not over there. Should think that it's in a secluded area. Yeah, out. right. No, I know, the, and I know what the Master Sword is supposed to look like, that's it. Yes. It's nice, you only need to treat pendants, you don't need to be a chosen hero or anything, you just need to treat pendants and it's yours. But who says he isn't the chosen hero? He managed to get the three pendants and the Master Sword, so... Well, it's just like in uh, Ocarina of Time. You need just three... things, and... Uh, the door opens, the door of time opens. Yeah. And then you can pull the monster sword out of the rock, the stone. Well, goody, now we have the masterful sword. It also makes a different slicing noise. Yay, that's very important. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it has a blue color on it. The soldiers are coming to the sanctuary. Hi! Well, we could do two things now. We could just head to the sanctuary and see some story. What the? That was a thief. Why didn't you go pick up your stuff? Not important anyway. Okay. Like I said, we could do, uh, do two things right now. We could head to the sanctuary and see some of the story elements, or we could just head to the castle for rescuing Zelda. Because well, she... yeah, you already know you have, you're supposed to go there, so we can just skip, yeah. skip this boring story bits. Yeah, actually it's... Uh, on the map that I should go to the sanctuary, in order to get to the castle, I'm gonna pass it anyway. Yeah. This is uh, right over here. But we're gonna skip no. it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Watch out for those bumps in the road. And don't feel sorry for the soldiers of killing. They're just brainwashed zombies anyway. And now I filled up all my hearts, and now we can shoot. Lasers. Oh! That's one of the pluses of the Master Sword. I didn't know that. I, I, well, then obviously I didn't get it after all. No, it's... Well, as long as you have all your hearts filled up, you can shoot. Yeah, just like in the original Zelda. Mm -hmm. Go. And the power of the sword has increased. And yeah. these are not killed easier. Yeah. Obviously. As far as I know, you can upgrade it to level 4, I think. 4? Yes. So that instead of hitting an enemy 4 times, you could kill it with just one hit. Always nice. Very annoying for some enemies in the Dark World, like the... There are bomb throwers that need 9 hits with the normal sword. So that would mean five hits with the Master Sword, and only three hits with the Tempered Sword. And this is the final dungeon of the White World. Alright. And having the Master Sword makes this a whole lot easier. Yeah, better watch out for the other guy though. Yeah, they have a nice reach with that thing, so keep him away. Oh well, nothing bad happens. And now there's two, uh, two of those guys. Yeah, I think there are only appearances in this dungeon. I haven't seen them anywhere else. You hold your swords differently. I wouldn't know. 